is good, my beautiful family? Um, I wanted to hop on here real quick and talk about something that's been on my spirit for a while. And I've been getting these downloads of information lately. <sighs> There's a lot of people who cover themselves and disguise themselves. Frap, come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Leave that dog alone. There are a lot of people who disguise themselves as <laughs> worshipers um, of Jesus, of God, whatever it may be. But whenever it has anything to do with religion, you should already run away. The reason why I say that is because there are so many of these individuals who are blatantly narcissists, who are just covering themselves, wearing a mask, and portraying themselves to be children of God, or portraying themselves to be prophets or prophetess, and claiming to hear the voice of God and hear certain things. And they claim to know what's going to happen to people like me, right? I practice witchcraft. I, I do um, everything that they say is dark and demonic. And yet my life somehow is so beautiful. I have nothing but abundance coming my way. I've healed myself. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I've attracted such a lovely relationship. Nothing but abundance has come my way. And it basically is showing you that someone's wrong here and it is not me, okay? Someone's wrong here about what the right way to live is and what is the truth. If you're searching for the truth, do not look to religion. I'm sorry, it's not the way to go. You're not gonna find it. You're only going to find that there are certain deities and doctrines of people that just want to rule over you. They want to have power over you. And so they tell you, you need to do this and you need to do that. Anything that is being worshipped outside of yourself is already a red flag. You should already run away, okay? Um, by the way, uh, I'm trying a new style of just being super raw on here, so I'm actually not going to edit this at all. That part where you saw me talking to my dog, listen, I'm sorry, but she's, uh, she's, she's a very special dog, okay? So, <laughs> I'm going to, these videos are not going to be edited at all, so this is just me being as raw as possible. This is what I've decided to do, so I hope you guys, uh, embrace that and enjoy this style of content but basically you know I've been seeing lately a lot of I've, I've seen it pretty often but lately it's just been hitting where I see certain content creators that are blatantly just <laughs> oh my god they are abusing the fuck out of people they are abusing the fuck out of people they're pretending to need help, pretending to be vulnerable and pretending that that God is, is going to bless you if you just help me, if you just donate money to me. These are people who are claiming to be a son of God or a daughter of God, but yet why are you facing so many, so much adversity all the time? That's not normal. It's not normal. If you claim to be a son or a daughter of God, and you claim to have such a beautiful relationship with him, your life wouldn't be this shitty, okay? I understand adversity hits everybody, but it's it's the scales. They skip, they, they, excuse me, they tip from one side to the other. And sometimes they're in that sweet spot where it's almost, you know, in synchronicity, it's almost uh, even, but it always tips to one side. So we do even the most, you know, the chosen ones, the light beings, the star seeds, uh, earth angels, even they face adversity, okay? It's normal. But what's not normal is to be facing it every day. If you're homeless and you've been homeless for years and you've had nothing but shitty things happening to you, there's something wrong. You're, you have to question these patterns and these routines. There's something wrong. 
there's something wrong because I'm sorry, but your prayers are not working. They're not being heard. Why are they not being heard? Maybe it's because who you're worshiping is not who you think it is. Maybe because there are lies surrounding your beliefs. This is a very hard pill for a lot of people to swallow. I understand that this is not popular, but this is the truth. You are constantly being deceived by these people who claim to know God, to know Jesus, <laughs> to have a personal connection with them, but yet at the same time, your life is going to shit. Do you want me to take advice from someone whose life is going to shit all the time? You have a messed up marriage, your kids hate you, you're, you're not in shape. I mean, I could really keep going. There's something wrong, and these people are blatantly just wearing a mask and taking from people. They're, if, if it's regarding the Christian belief, they're taking money from people, okay? Religion is not the answer. Religion was never the answer. This man that I saw, I came across his YouTube channel. It's so easy to make money on YouTube in the sense of if you just do the right thumbnails and the right titles, the right hashtags, and you instill fear into people, you're going to blow up on YouTube like crazy. Or if you have nothing to offer the world and you just want to uh, make content about stupid shit, stupid shit regarding the matrix oh you're gonna blow up absolutely take a look at mr beast take a look at kai sinet take a look at all these people is that feeding your soul no it's feeding your ego so if that's what you want to do you want to blow up on youtube go ahead and do that but this man is blatantly just using religion to cover himself he is a full-blown narcissist who thinks he's right and lord he is wrong he is very wrong. This is a man who claims that he is homeless. That he has been homeless for fucking months. I, I mean, oh, I don't understand. We both, me and him, both claim to be chosen ones. But who is really chosen here? Who is the one who is actually experiencing uh, less adversity, more abundance, more blessings in life? Who is the one that is actually happy, is uh, having a fruitful life? You know, we both claim to be the same thing, but one of us is clearly lying, and I sure as hell know it's not me. It is not me. And I can testify and say that because I am grateful every single day that I wake up. But people like me, people of the light, people who, un who understand how to use discernment, who are extremely intuitive, we can see past the illusion, we can see past the mask. And this man has been wearing a mask for a long time and so many people have been falling for it. So many people have been giving him money and, and you know, just to help him, I understand it came from a good place. And maybe he is in a, in a bad situation, but you ha there, there comes a point in a time where you have to take accountability. You have to take accountability for your actions. You have to be able to sacrifice, to make room for the abundance, make room for the blessings to come in. You have to switch your mind. Your mind is everything. This is someone who lives a victim mentality and he thinks Jesus or God is going to save him. You will die waiting for someone to save you because it's never going to happen. And so this is someone who will blatantly just use people and manipulate people into thinking that if you give me um, these donations and you, if you help me out, oh, you're blessed, you're being watched by God. <sighs> if anyone is online asking for money that many times, there is something wrong. There is something wrong. I'm sorry, get a job do whatever it is, m learn how to manifest. Oh, you don't want to do that because you don't even know how to meditate because you think that's witchcraft. You see the problem here? <laughs> the reason why you're facing so much adversity and it's only adversity, it's never any blessings, never any miracles. God never seems to really help you, right? The reason why you're facing all of this is because 
you are choosing to believe that this is the only way, that your beliefs are the only way or what you've been taught is the only way. And you're wrong because it's not working. When you have a technique, for example, if you play sports, let's say you play football and your technique in football, whether you play offense or defense, it's just not working. You keep getting fucking tackled. It's just not working. The person on the, on the, the offense is much bigger than you. And, and you keep getting tackled. What do you do? You go back to the drawing board and you find a different technique that works. That's what you do. That's what we do. We find different techniques that work. When we, when we have a belief and it doesn't work for us, what do we do? We try to find another belief. We try to find something else that resonates, that, that makes sense to us. And so the only thing that's ever made sense to me is spirituality. The only thing that has ever made sense, full sense, is learning and mastering the art of learning how to manifest, learning how to manipulate energy. This is what we're supposed to do. But so many people who are indoctrined in religion will never get that. And it's so sad. It's so unfortunate because you're missing out. Life is so beautiful. I mean, you wake up every day. I could be homeless right now. I could be in him, his same situation, if that's the truth, because you never know nowadays. I could be in his same situation and I would still have these fucking trees. Look at these trees. Look at that. I don't know if, if wait, let me see if you can see that. Oh, it uh, looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Oh my God, it looks so good. Look at that. Literally, how, how? Can you see this sight? Just uh, make me understand. How can you see such a beautiful sight? And think for a second. I hate my life. I don't like myself. I hate my situation. God doesn't love me. Da, da, da. All this negative shit. How could you do that? It does not make sense. Your mind is everything. If you have control over your mind, you have control over your reality. Please do not listen to these people online who pretend to be something that they are not. Anyone who is a child of God or the divine, whatever resonates with you, is someone who is living in the light. Does not matter if they're broke, don't, don't get tied to the material. The material is not success. When they have a spirit of gold, a heart of gold, they are so happy, they're, they wake up and they're grateful. They have a beautiful family, beautiful relationships. That is true abundance. That is someone you should take advice from. Not these motherfuckers out here asking for money every two days. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You understand there are frauds here, right? It's the age of Aquarius. These people are coming out of the woodworks. They're coming out of the woodworks. And people like me are just seeing right past the mask. I know exactly who that man is, and he's a fraud. He is not chosen. I'm sorry. It's just not his time, and that's okay. But some of you guys need to learn how to use that discernment, use that intuition. If something feels off about watching this individual or someone else, please listen to that. Listen to that gut feeling. This is not someone of God. Don't, please. If you have God, you don't need money. You don't need any of that shit. Stop asking so many people to help you and, and, it, and then it never gets better. Like, I understand if you're going through something and you ask for help and people help you and then you, you get yourself on your feet, awesome. But you can see a pattern when it keeps repeating. Month after month, you keep going through struggles and yet you claim to be chosen. You claim to be a child of God. You think God would allow any, all of this, all of this, all of this adversity, this excessive adversity to happen to you, to a chosen one? No. It's only temporary. That's how you can know who is chosen and who is not. If they have bad shit happening to them for so, for so long, I'm sorry, but there's something wrong there. Use your discernment. Be able to see. Use your intuition. To see these people for who they truly are and some of these people are frauds they are narcissists and they are using and preying off of your energy especially if you are a light being 
and you're watching their content, even if you're commenting, praying for them, okay? These people are feeding off of your energy. Do not make the mistake of giving your energy to these people, okay? Sometimes you need to be selfish with your energy because the wrong people will try to come in and take from you. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Um, I love you guys, and I hope you have a blessed, beautiful day. Remember to smile. Even if shit is hitting the fan right now, you are alive, okay? You are alive. You have all your limbs. You have food to eat. You know, you have uh, electricity. You have clothes. Just be grateful. Be present. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all soon.